Hey there, this is Tiff from Reach Your Potential with Tiff. What we do here is we build the belief and courage in you to go after your big dreams in your life. We develop the mindset, the strategies, and the habits to bring out the person you are destined to become. Listen up, take notes, let's go. Hey there, Tiff here. Welcome to Reach Your Potential with Tiff. Here we are now, A Course in Miracles, Lesson 8. The theme for this lesson today is my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. This idea is, of course, the reason why you see only the past. No one really sees anything. He or she sees only his thoughts or her thoughts projected outward. The mind's preoccupation with the past is the cause of the misconception about time from which your seeing suffers. Your mind cannot grasp the present, which is the only time that is there. It therefore cannot understand time and cannot, in fact, understand anything. Powerful, isn't it? The one holy true thought one can hold about the past is that it is not there. To think about it at all is therefore to think about illusions. This is this first introduction about everything that we look at are illusions. Very few have realized what is actually entailed in picturing the past or in anticipating the future. The mind is actually blank when it does this because it is not really thinking about anything. The purpose of the exercises for today is to begin to train your mind to recognize when it is not really thinking at all. While thoughtless ideas preoccupy your mind, the truth is blocked. Recognizing that your mind has been merely blank rather than believing that it is filled with real ideas is the first step to opening the way to vision. The exercises for today should be done with eyes closed. This is because you actually cannot see anything and it is easier to recognize that no matter how vividly you may picture a thought, you are not seeing anything. With as little investment as possible, Search your mind for the usual minute or so that we've been working through with these lessons, merely noting the thoughts that you find there. Name each one by the central figure of the theme it contains and pass on to the next. Introduce the practice period by saying this. I seem to be thinking about whatever it is that you're thinking about. Then what you want to do is you name each of your thoughts specifically. For example, I seem to be thinking about name of the person, about name of the object, about name of an emotion, and so on. That's what you want to be working through. And concluding at the end of the mind search period with, but my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Now this exercise can be done four to five times throughout the day unless you find that it's irritating you. If you find it trying as in it's fine you finding it difficult three or four times is sufficient. You might find it helpful however to include your irritation or any emotion that the idea for today may induce in the mind searching for itself. So what you want to be doing here is the lesson for today is my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Then what you want to do is I seem to be thinking about and then refer to what it is that you seem to be thinking about. And then the idea of this example is I seem to be thinking about name of the person. 
or I seem to be thinking about name of the object. I seem to be thinking about name of the emotion. And then how you want to conclude this session is, but my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. So enjoy today's lesson. Practice it a few times throughout the day. Give yourself a minute or so, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.